This problem we have some parametric equations and we have to write them in rectangular form and sketch the graph. So we'll start uh, by writing them in rectangular form. So notice that we can write y as e to the t cubed and then plus 8. That's because uh, we can multiply the 3 and the t to get 3t. So these are actually the same. And now notice that e to the t is just x. So you can write this as x cubed plus 8. So that's actually the rectangular form. So nice little uh, trick there. So x here is positive, and that's because x is equal to e to the t, and e to the t is the exponential function. So if you just graph uh, x cubed plus 8, it's basically the graph of x cubed, and then it's shifted up by 8. So it would look something like this, and this here would be 8. However, in this problem, x is positive, so we're only looking at this piece here. Again, this is the graph of x cubed. This is the graph of x cubed plus 8. And we only care about the case when x is positive because x is equal to the exponential function. So we only care about this little piece here. Now notice x is positive, so technically there is a little hole here. As for the orientation of this graph, you can plot values and increasing values of t to find the orientation. So let's make a little table here. So t, x, and y. So if you plug in 0 and 1, that should be enough. Plugging in 0, we get e to the 0, which is 1. And then here we get e to the 0 plus 8 which is 1 plus 8, which is 9. So when t equals 0, we're at 1 comma uh, 9. So we're up, we're up here. So maybe like right here. And when t equals 1, we're at x equals e, which is somewhere over here. e is like 2.718 or so. And we're at e cubed plus 8, which is somewhere up here. So the orientation is just this direction here, which if you would have just guessed the orientation, uh, just knowledge that the graph has to go that way, uh, you'd, you'd be able to just guess correctly. I hope this has been helpful.